Welcome aboard to this week's cruise chat. I'm going to be meeting with Hillary today and I am very excited for what we're going to be talking about. Uh, we are going to be looking at the Christmas markets in Europe and they are so phenomenal and you guys have got to hear what she's got to say about some of them. So let's go over to the episode. <music> and welcome to this week's cruise chat i'm kathleen penner owner of plenty of sunshine travel and today i'm joined by hillary and as you can see hillary is from avalon waterways i have had the absolute pleasure of meeting with hillary a few other times so if you guys want to go back and look at our playlist we've got some great things there we've got some great brand overviews looking at different rivers why avalon and uh but make sure you stay here for this session though because we are going to be talking about some really exciting things uh in the world of cruising for avalon so i'm just going to turn it over to you hillary thank you kathleen hello everyone thank you for joining me today uh yes my name is hillary brown it does state globus family of brands behind me we are a family brand we have uh, three brands under our belt. We have our Globus uh, product, which is our first class coach touring. We have uh, Cosmos, which is our value pack coach touring. And of course, today we're going to speak about Avalon Waterways. As Kathleen was mentioning, we have had a few presentations in the past with Avalon. So I just really wanted to give a few couple of slides just to um, reiterate why to travel with Avalon Waterways. And then as Kathleen mentioned, uh, focusing on something new and exciting today. And I thought we were just speaking about Kathleen and I were just speaking uh, a little few minutes ago about you know how nice it is the falls weather it's actually my favorite season uh, yeah, I right love it's but it's, it's like I just it scarves and I just I just I There's love nothing more comforting than like putting on a sweater and just feeling that that warmth and coziness exactly like, exactly ah. so I thought today we would talk about Christmas time markets oh, uh, yeah. really getting in the festive season of uh, what we have to offer for you so let's get started mm -hmm. uh we've spoken about this in the past but again I just as I mentioned I just wanted to do a recap Avalon Waterways is the youngest uh fleet on the water our average age is eight years we do not refurbish our ships we do not rebuild our ships we only build new ships so you have to remember that all river cruise ships have to be the same width to fit through the navigation locks throughout Europe so if a balcony were placed on the outside of the stateroom then the, your clients would lose and saying I say to you Kathleen your clients mm -hmm. to everyone on the um the, the call today mm -hmm. um really you would lose a minimum of 30 square feet of space inside so with Avalon Waterways our suites and staterooms were specifically designed to maximize your um the guest uh space and views throughout their stay so you know let's really go through why I say that and mm -hmm. that comes to our our state rooms right here so yeah. again all ships are built the same width and height so what Avalon Waterways has done is push the walls out to have that 200 square foot stateroom 11 by 7 fully open air balcony really letting the outside in really having those grand um, gestures and those views are even grander when looking out our state rooms absolutely I mean that's what you're there for right you're there to look at the the beautiful scenery and and just see the gorgeous castles as you're going by so why not have more space in your suite for that and then still be able to look out exactly and yeah. saying that remember history happened by the waters so mm -hmm. staring at a wall not much to look at when you're staring no. at a wall um mm -hmm. where our beds face the view so mm -hmm. a lot to look at really the ever-changing scenery sailing as you're sailing by with our comfort collection beds um really having that panorama suite highlighting um avalon waterways so our boutique hotels really inspires the panorama suites featuring again that open air balcony with the widest opening windows in cruising designed for your views in mind absolutely so all our sweet ships are the same ships as I mentioned um we're the youngest fleet on the water um uh, we have um two new ships our Avalon view um which our godmother for the Avalon view is um Meredith Vieira from the view um so she's <laughs> our godmother and we have a brand new ship coming in uh Avalon Alegria um 2000 
2024. She's just being built as we speak. She will be doing the Duro at Porto to Porto. And believe it or not, we are actually 92% sold out already for 2024. Mm. And she is just being built right now. You also could do a three night pre Lisbon on that. Um, and again, uh, space is already open for 2025. So just keep that in mind as well. And I love that you have so many ships because with all of those ships, you're bound to find an itinerary that's sort of tailored for what you like. And oh, I think that's awesome that there's so many. That's great. I actually, I knew that you had a lot of ships, but I hadn't counted all of them, <laughs> but to see 15 is just, wow, that's great. Yeah. And you know, you know, our Avalon uh, Saigon, um, she is doing the Mekong. Um, so uh, that's mm -hmm. another itinerary. So they're not all on Europe. Today, we're really going to focus on Europe because of mm -hmm. the Christmas time markets. But again, we have many itineraries throughout Asia. Um, we also have our the Ganges, uh, Egypt. Uh, and again, we have Porto with uh, um, the Duro, which is brand new to us. So quite an extent uh, fleet with mm -hmm. itineraries in mind as well. So really sailing away from the ordinary, really seeing more that, you know, than the sea. On a typical cruise, guests really see waves, water, and more water. On an Avalon cruise, legendary landmarks and postcards, perfect landscapes are always in view. Again, yes. with that open air balcony, we mm -hmm. really make a splash in intriguing ports of call where we lead cruisers down the path of less traveled to the sites more revered with all without the weight as well. So on an Avalon cruise, you really get to dock to discover and take in mere minutes time. So again, really having the 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 redefined the cruising experience, but we really also redefined the all inclusive. And that's the beauty of our suite ships, really having the other um, vehicles joyfully provided guests to enhance ex extraordinary uh, journeys. We take a complimentary, they client, you can take a complimentary bike for a spin. Uh, you can check out a variety of outdoor gear from onboard adventure host and tap into our Avalon Go app loaded with tailored and tested travel tips for freeing experience in port as well. Right. So you really have that, you know, really we're inviting travelers to let the world in mm -hmm. and really have their own inner explorer out and having that with the local connections and worthy experiences. Right. Right. And I just want to hit on your app for a minute. Um, I think that's fantastic that you have that app because it has all the maps preloaded. Um, when, as a Canadian, when we go over to Europe, it's a lot of money for the data. And I think it's fabulous that your app has everything and you could input, take me back to the ship and it will actually walk you back for those of us, me, that are directly. <laughs> <laughs> that includes me as well, Kathleen. Yeah, absolutely. It gives well, you a day by day awesome. itinerary. It's an augmented navigation system, which allows you to have, don't need data or Wi-Fi. And it looks just mm -hmm. like Google Maps, as you're explaining, takes you right to theaters, cafes, shopping, um, museums, and brings you right back to the ship as yeah. well. So, yeah. I just love that. And honestly, like I meet with a lot of cruise lines, as you know, and no one has an app like that, that you can do totally offline it's you know you could be air gapped and it wouldn't make a difference because everything is is right in that app and it's just incredible so i really wanted to hit on that because it's such a unique feature well thank you yeah you're absolutely right i appreciate that and then of course you know you know it's it's i think it's a uh, quarter after 11 so almost lunchtime so hopefully yeah. we don't get you too hungry with all <laughs> our wonderful features that they are dining rooms and our menus really have a diverse as the cruising um, cuisines we serve. Whether you are looking for a mood for the elegance or of a glass wall panorama dining room, the coziness of a panorama bistro, the breeziness of the sky grill, or just a simple app allure of a room service in your panorama suite, which is brand new to us. And I mentioned that in the past, but now room service is available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that oh, is goodness. all complimentary. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and then, of course, we also, you know, we have, you know, the health conscious travelers as well, mm -hmm. um, whether they are um, gluten free, celiac, um, the only fair that we can, the only uh, dietary restriction that we cannot do is halal and kosher. And that's because you need a separate kitchen. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you have all meal choices on board as well. That's incredible. 
And I love that you, you know, you kind of include everybody because there are people who have dietary choices and then dietary needs. Uh, so you're just going to encompass all of that and make sure everybody's got everything that they that they desire. So that's awesome. Exactly. And also brand new to us this year is we've always had a happy hour between 545 and 645. However, happy hour is now on us. So you can enjoy that complimentary glass of wine, that bourbon, the special drink of the day. Uh, you can enjoy all that uh, during happy hour, uh, during 545 and 645 uh, during the, um, the cruise director's port talk. Mm hmm. Uh, and then, of course, when it comes to Avalon Waterways, it's all about choice. We have our classic, our active, and our discovery excursions. Your classic is your must-see site. Your active is maybe canoeing down the Danube, paddling down the Rhine, taking a bicycle tour. Um, and then your discovery is maybe learning to paint a Monet or Van Gogh, cooking classes in Vienna, enjoying schnitzel, potato salad, strudel, all at the same time uh, while having wine in Belgium learning to make Belgium chocolate. So Kathleen, you and I can be on the exact same itinerary mm -hmm. and have a completely different experience with these choices mm. of our excursions. That's great. That is so nice. And I love the active ones. I think that those are super because sometimes, you know, your choices might be uh, just a tour, a uh, walking tour, but to have those choices of going, you know, hiking in the Black Forest, like you said, and kayaking down the river, those are like memory making. Uh, and that's just incredible to be able to experience it with that way. So I love your Avalon choices. Perfect. And again, with the active, you don't need to be active to go on these excursions. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the, the bicycle one, I mean, look at the one, I mean, if you look at the middle picture, she looks quite content <laughs> right there, relaxed, doesn't she? Uh, we always have a guide at the front, uh, two in the middle and one at the back as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it goes as fast as you can and as slow as the one in the back. Right. So you never feel any way. Um, the canoeing down the Danube, uh, again, you're with a guide at the whole time. So again, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, there are active, but you don't need to be active to go on any of yes. these excursions. That's a great point. Uh, and then, of course, um, we have our three to one guest ratio um, and we have it down to a science, which we're really proud of. But knowing the right amount of anticipation, the right amount of attention and the right amount of space to give each guest is an art. And our crew is absolutely devoted without being daunting, focused on but not being fo uh, fussy and supportive, uh, minus the smother. So our guests really cherish the warmth of our crew members and feeling the, and the feeling is mutual as as well. Mm -hmm. So you were speaking about our app. So this is our Avalon Go app. And we spoke about that, that, you know, it's an augmented navigation system, which means you do not need data or Wi-Fi, but really allows you to be connected to your vacation itinerary with a day-by-day -day itinerary, your flights, your e-documents. Uh, if you have any pre or post nights, you'll have any notifications or alerts uh, come out to you. We have our travel guide maps, recommendations as we were speaking about dining sites, shopping, entertainment with that um, Google, you know, just takes you right there and brings you right mm -hmm. back to the ship. We have a travel journal, expense calculator, currency converter, weather forecast. We're always wondering what the weather is going to be. Yeah. Um, social media sharing, so you can upload photos, share it uh, right from there. So it's 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 an absolutely incredible app that we have there. Oh yes. And then, of course, uh, so I really want that was our update. So I really, um, you know, let's get into the season, uh, really having, you know, Christmas time is magical. I love uh, it's a really magical time of the year. I love it as well. Um, and there is really no place festive during Christmas than a Christmas time market. And really, it's the perfect way to get into the festive spirit. I'm just looking at the pictures and I already feel like I'm in the spirit. Yeah. Um, you know, Christmas markets are we're actually originated in Dresden, Germany back in 1434, but oh. now you can find them all over Europe. Wow. Um, so 34, my goodness. Yeah, it's it's yeah. incredible. And I just thought I'd show uh, share that little uh, tidbit of information mm -hmm. there. But it's yeah, it's been they've been going and they're all over Europe, you know, having your um, hot wine, um, having, uh, you know, really going to see the wooden chalets uh, that are selling the Christmas themed goodies. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't leave there without getting one. Um, and then really because they have such a handle on gifts and baubles, mm -hmm. traditional gingerbreads and festivals 
festive treats. Really, Europe's best Christmas time markets are really stepping into a real life snow globe with ice rinks, Ferris wheels, colorful decorations. And during the four Sundays proceedings, Christmas event, um, Chris Kindle markets fill the streets of many um, cities and villages, bringing Christmas really to life. Wow. That's wonderful. Well, I'm ready to go right this second. My goodness, it's gorgeous. And so it seems like it's a lot more than just shopping. Um, like you said, you've got that ice skating rink, the Ferris wheel. It's wow, that's incredible. Because a yeah. lot of times when you think of markets, you think of stalls and shopping and, you know, hurrying. But um, the, the Christmas markets in Europe are more of a relaxation and experience. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, like just, you know, when you get there, before you start doing your little shopping and everything, hmm. go get your mulled wine and a pretzel and your gingerbread, you know, cookies. I'm, you know, I'm just like, my mouth is like, <laughs> I'm getting so excited. I was just telling Kathleen, I'm actually going on a river cruise in uh, this Friday. So I'm actually going to, I'm excited for it to yeah. just again get. Getting right into so, yeah. Incredible. Right? Wow. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, and that, that's why I really want to share this. And I will tell you the Christmas time markets are selling. I mean, look at this picture right here. This is like, put yourself in a snow globe, as we were just mm. saying, you know, really each Christmas time market really brings its own flavor with different traditions, foods, and, you know, really setups. But looking at this one, for example, and, you know, what are some of the best Christmas time markets best known for? Vienna. Mm -hmm. um, skating rinks and traditional toys, Stalsburg, Christmas carols and ancient traditions, Prague, open air concerts and traditional nativity scenes. And I will tell you, you know, and again, I, I, I feel it in my heart right now, the, the love and the passion for the Christmas time markets. I have a passion for Avalon River Cruising, but if you were to ask me what my number one favorite river cruise is, is Prague to Budapest Christmas time market. I absolutely love it. I love the Christmas time markets and we're, they're selling. So we're talking about it today. We're already October. There's great promotions going on right now. Um, so if you are interested, if you've got, you know, share this with your friends and family, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it could be starting at a five night, um, you know, Christmas time market oh, yeah. until, like, you know, a week, you know, there's many different itineraries, um, over the Rhine, the Danube, uh, and I'm going to go through a few of those as well, but you know, don't, don't wait is what I'm saying. Right. Mm -hmm. So just to keep that in mind as well. Uh, and again, you know, Christmas time markets, really what to wear. We're, to, we're talking about the weather right now, yes. you know, and how to pack. <laughs> Right, exactly. So, you know, um, once you go to a market or two, probably find the groove of what to wear. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, dress comfortably. Leggings, warm wool socks. Uh, Kathleen right. and I, we were just speaking about there's socks for every season. So you've got Absolutely. your wool sock, your scarf, your beanie, your toque, um, we call it in Canada, mm -hmm. right? Good, comfortable, waterproof shoes. Um, because sometimes, you know, it might, it, just, it may be a little wet um, from the rain as well on the ground. Mm -hmm. Uh, water warm waterproof jacket um just you know layer layer is key right yes. um you know you could be in an average in europe an average of high to just two degrees to a low of minus three uh, but again i think that the weather is changing so much i mean we're just having absolute beautiful weather here in canada yeah. that yeah. i'm like i'm hoping that this weather is going to stay for halloween for my kids mm -hmm. to go wear a jacket maybe this year right yeah. but Again, uh, you know, I just wanted to give you some tidbits of, you know, um, the Christmas time markets, because that's what mm -hmm. we're really focusing on today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the drinks, you've probably heard of the glue wine. Um, you know, just think of it as glue vine, glue, G-L-U-E, vine, V-I-N-E. Okay. So vine, but it is spelt with a W-E-I-N, but vine, okay. that's how mm -hmm. well. But it's really a hot mauled red wine, and it is very, very popular at Christmas time mm -hmm. markets. And it's so delicious. Um, I actually even have it when I go to Wonderland. Uh, they have wow. the mulled they wine. have it there. Incredible. They do, they do. But um, I'm and not then I bet you it brings back memories of when oh. you were on the market. So that's what exactly. I love about traveling, right? Those memories that pop back unexpectedly. Um, exactly. the smallest thing triggers that. Oh goodness, remember when I went on this trip or that trip and exactly. I, yeah. 
It's all you about the I, And it does bring back memories that I'm thinking about it. Let's get a little personal here. But I did a, again, the Christmas time uh, market mm -hmm. um, robbed in Budapest. And then I actually took my dad on a Globus tour the following year. And uh, it was a stop in Switzerland. I'm like, oh my God, daddy, you've got to have a glue vine and a pretzel, you know, because yeah. I had it previous on the by my previous cruise. Right. And it's just, you know, it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. I actually, you know, and I just put a little picture here, how to make it. It's red wine with oranges, honey, cinnamon, uh, anise and cloves. So, you know, if you go get all those, then you're more than welcome to make it, but really having the experience of being in the Christmas time. Yeah. And it looks to me like like they're all different cups so they're kind of collector's cups too as you're going along um, exactly you can take those right you can purchase oh, the cups as well yes absolutely so that's you great can, yes. yeah absolutely yeah cool. and the, you know and if you don't like uh, glue vines not for you um mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of other warm drink options like hot mulled white wine or rosé you can get a hot chocolate with or without baileys mm -hmm. um you know you can also get um and it's called uh Iri punch, uh, Iri punch, sorry. Um, and it's similar to eggnog. Um, they also have hot fruit punch, coffee, etc. So, you know, there's lots and lots of choices yes. um, to enjoy the drink. So, and of course, um, uh, just to, we were talking about the mugs here, Kathleen, you were mentioning mm -hmm. that. But did you know that each Christmas market actually has their own customized mug or yeah. cup? Yeah, I had heard that. So as you're traveling down the river, they're going to be something different at every stop. That's great. Exactly. So maybe bring yeah. in that's the for all those, right? Mm -hmm. So bring it back. Um, so now that we've had something to drink, we need something to eat with that, of course. Um, so, you know, then you here's just some of my favorites. Uh, and I apologize for making your mouth water. But, you know, um, you know, we have um, champignons, which is cooked uh, in garlic, always say yes to their creamy sauce to go on top. Um, pasta cooked in a wheel of Parmesan, a salmon smoked right in front of you, um, as well as a raclette, which is cheese, delicious cheese, which is served on everything from baguettes mixed with, with pasta or spooned with potatoes and onions, um, potato pancakes, you can get that with uh, sour cream or applesauce. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you have the common um, flank, um, flank cooking, um, as well as the currywurst. Um, so mm -hmm. there are just, again, every country has their variations between uh, grilled sausages, roasted chestnuts, gingerbread and potato pancakes um you know it's all there so oh, i am getting hungry i'm not gonna I know, lie. Right? <laughs> like let's go i oh, know goodness. i know i'm so excited as i said if anybody uh, else is ready to let's go just reach out to me info at plenty of sunshine travel.com and i will get you booked on these cruises so you can go and enjoy those foods because that sounded too delicious yeah and yeah. you know what kathleen mm -hmm. just because we're in the spirit of christmas Yes. Um, in the holiday season, uh, you know, where not everybody celebrates Christmas. So we'll just say um, the holiday season. Um, today is October the 18th. And I know that you have some, um, you know, clients watching today. Mm -hmm. But if we give it two weeks today, and I'm just looking at my calendar, which brings us to October, November the 1st, mm -hmm. if you if your clients book um, uh, any Christmas time market um, from now for the next two weeks until November the 1st, I will offer you an additional $200 off per couple. Wow. Thank you. That's incredible. Happy oh, holidays, everybody. Thank you. Thank so, you. yeah, that's, uh, and that's on top of all the other promotions out there. Yes. So, again, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like, you know, just as I said, what looking through all these, uh, I just feel I'm in the spirit mood. So, of yes. course. So um, there you go. Here's $200. Yay. Yay. Thank there you. we go. So again, you know, it, really there is, you know, a Christmas time market in Europe is really a cross between arts and crafts, as we said, in the street markets. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but again, I just, I find that it's a really, it's a holly magical feeling as we were spe uh, speaking, really bringing that twinkling everywhere into the delicious sense um, throughout the air and totally fall in love with the, um, the atmosphere sphere. So um, let's go into a couple of um, just a few of our um, itineraries here, our Christmas time itineraries. We're speaking about short itineraries that we have. This is the Christmas time um, in Alsace and Germany. Um, this is five days. So this itinerary um, will start in Basel and end in Frankfurt. 
Okay. So again, five days, sure. four days on the cruise. Mm -hmm. um, and here you're going to go to Frankfurt, Heidelberg, Strasbourg, um, Breisach, and Basel. Wonderful. Um, really giving that um, taste of the Christmas time market. But, you know, let me just go through a couple of day by day itineraries mm -hmm. with this um, short itinerary here. You know, of course, in Basel, this is welcome mm -hmm. to Switzerland. Um, mm -hmm. where I said I enjoy my mulled wine. And this is where you're going to board our ship. So again, you can stroll through the city center enjoy festive illumination of the savor christmas um delicacies as we mentioned like waffles gingerbread sweets uh swiss uh swiss raclette and really going then this is the evening that we're going to cruise to breisach um, and here, um, this is an excursion to the Black Forest that you were mm -hmm. mentioning earlier, where you have history, you have artistry, you have beautiful Black Forest. And this is an example on this itinerary, you have two discoveries. You can visit um, the largest uh, German wine producer in Europe. Mm -hmm. Or you can just join a guided tour to the magical Black Forest and experience um, the local traditionals of the vibrant um, Christmas mood as well. Um, yeah. And then on here, we have a guided optional excursion um, to the charming villages of Colmar, uh, where it has its half-timbered medieval um, and early Renaissance buildings. Um, so here and then this evening, we're going to overnight cruise to Strasbourg. Mm -hmm. uh, so, of course, just sharing some pictures, we have the Black Forest um, here, uh, Comar, look at those um, timbered mm -hmm. homes, they're absolutely beautiful. You know, it, it, as I said, it reminds me of Hansel and Gretel, to be honest. Yes. Uh, yeah. So. Um, and yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And then in day mm. three, we have Strasbourg. Um, and this is the, you know, a gothical cathedral, heaven's time, um, and um, really joy to Noel, right? Um, and here you're going to enjoy a classic uh, sightseeing tour, really enjoying the city's gothic stained glass cathedral uh, and it's celebrated ancient murals the astronomical clock which it's known for as well as the magical la petite france district and then you can actually also have a guided optional excursion to the be beautiful alsace for an afternoon in french wine um, country village so again, this is a, the, one of our, uh, as I said, um, small itineraries. This is a five-day mm -hmm. itinerary just to, you know, get away, um, but be in time, you know, to yeah. be with your family at the holidays as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And sometimes, you know, a five-day river cruise and including the Christmas markets is such a good introduction. Um, if you're not sure that river cruises are for you, this is the perfect way. It's like a little sample, a taste. And then you'll know once, you know, once you go on it that, yep, this is for you. And then you can book for longer. But it's a great little, like I said, just a little taste. And then you get to try the Christmas markets on top of all that. So it's just icing on the cake. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, this is where we're going to, um, this is really the winter wonders and the wine barrel fit for a king inspired Germany. We have the classic take a guided tour that includes a magnificent Heidelberg castle um, and the great vat, the world's largest wine barrel here. Um, and it, after the tour, you can visit the local German Christmas time markets in Heidelberg, Spire, and really explore on your own to soak in those sights and sounds, those tantalizing treats we were speaking about, and seasonal handiwork for those sparkling uh, winter wonderlands and bring home um, to share with your friends and family as well, bringing those uh, little treats back for your friends and family. So here's uh, the Heidelberg Christmas time market. Yeah. And then another itinerary. This is the Christmas time on the Danube. This is mm -hmm. a seven day itinerary. Um, and this itinerary um, starts in Vienna and ends in Nuremberg. Just this. Now, I will tell you, we say start in Vienna and ends in Nuremberg. Um, and we spoke about the last one that starts in Basel and ends in Frankfurt. Yes. Uh, sorry, Remich. But you can do the reverse as well. This is just mm -hmm. the, the itinerary that I'm speaking about. So if you wanted to speak, start in Nuremberg, you're more than welcome to do that and end in Vienna as well yes. mm -hmm. so this is as i mentioned this i mean look at this absolutely oh, beautiful vienna austria i mean this is welcome to austria right. uh, you know it's absolutely beautiful this is where mm -hmm. we're going to embark on our ships and yeah, then, I think I've mentioned before, my father was born in Austria, and just looking at, at these pictures, it's just, oh, I'd love to take them back, you know, just to see all that. And that is just so pretty, too. The little bit of snow, and oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Then you I'm need sorry. to take everybody with you then. I do, exactly, absolutely, right? absolutely, yes. Um, so, you know, here we have, this is a picture of uh, Hofburg Imperial Palace. 
This is really, Vienna is the Royal Collections, um, using attractions, culinary confections. Um, this is where we're gonna have a classic itinerary where you could take a city tour of Vienna. Mm -hmm. Or you could have a discover uh, joining a guided culinary of uh, Vienna's magical Christmas advent markets. So, mm -hmm. you know, again, and you hear with the advent uh, discovering, you'll be able to sample um, apple strudel, uh, mm -hmm. which is, you know, again, they're known for as well, right? Yes, it's iconic, absolutely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then, you know, here we have Vienna's magical Christmas advent calendar market. Um, so again, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, Chambron Palace. This is a guided optional tour that you can take mm -hmm. as well. And then on day three in Milk, um, this is where you're striking frescoes, breathtaking Wacho Valley. And here you have two um, choice tours as well, choice excursion. You can take a classic excursion, really getting a tour of the Milk's magnificent uh, Magnificent Benedictine, the Abbey to the Marvel, um, uh, frescoed ceilings, or you can take a discovery enjoying a Austrian cookie tasting while sailing as well. Mm -hmm. Of course, Bennington Abbey. And then at Paso, um, here, you know, this is no Paso is known for the St. Stephen's, uh, Salzburg, and the story of the Silent Night. Mm -hmm. um, and here you can have a classic uh, tour with his, the a guided city tour and really learning the more about the beautiful city of the three rivers here. Yes. And just a fun fact about this area. And there's something that I said, my daughter's like, that's very specific. I said, I want to go to Passa because they have the oldest working pipe organ in the rivers of Europe, on the rivers of Europe. And she's like, that's a really specific reason you want to go there. I'm like, I just want to hear it. Like, from what I understand, like you can hear it even from outside of the cathedral. Yes. As soon as you walk yes. in, it's just encompassing. Um, it would just be incredible to be able to hear that and know that that's the oldest on the rivers of Europe. I yes, really yes. Cool. And that's what I mean. History happened by the waters, right? Like every day includes like these magnificent stories that, you know, something we didn't know, right? Um, it's, it's absolutely a wonderful experience to uh, go mm -hmm. and learn, right? Yes. And then, of course, a guided... Um, um, excursion to Salzburg, Austria. And this is, of course, where uh, the Mirabel Palace, where it's the location of the Sound of Music. Right. Yes. And then cool. on day five, Regensburg, uh, known for the Christmas magic in the Bavaria's medieval miracle. Um, here we have two choices, a classic, which is, again, a guided city tour uh, of the old town. Um, and then and this actually, uh, and you also have an entrance to the Castra Regina Fortress, and that was built in uh, 179 AD. Wow. Uh, so still there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the discovery um, excursion you can take later indulge in an onboard beer tasting uh, really sampling the regional german beers as well so christmas time markets again in regensburg they're all different but they're all so beautiful yeah, wow oh, nuremberg good. germany the rainbow wow yeah right and, and I, I just love that i mean you know so much history in nuremberg but seeing mm -hmm. that rainbow there you know is peace right yes. Uh, it's absolutely, it's just looking at this picture, it's unbelievable. So here, you know, this is where Nuremberg, and we spoke about the history, this is a really a history lesson in Nuremberg, living heritage and history lessons. Um, here you have three choices. You have your discovery, which you can enjoy a Christmas traditional lecture on board while sailing in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, then you can also choose two classic tours, um, choose a guided tour of Nuremberg's medieval architectural uh, gl uh, glided fountain, um, or you can have a guided city tour of the historic Nuremberg rally grounds uh, used by the Third Reich. Um, that's actually one that I had done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, spend free time again, really exploring those Christmas time yeah. markets in Nuremberg, sampling the Bavarian fare from dozens of brat bratwurst for varieties, gingerbread, um, mulled blueberry wine, oh, uh, countless other culinary delights um, of the uh, Christmas market. So, and this is where we're going to overnight in Nuremberg. Um, and then your, your cruise does end that day. So this is an eight day itinerary. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our Christmas time in the heart of Germany. 
Um, speaking starting in Frankfurt and ending in Nuremberg as well. Mm -hmm. And in this itinerary, we have Frankfurt. Um, and here, you know, welcome to Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, just one a day ahead. So um, this is where we have welcome to Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're going to overnight cruise to the Mine River Village. Um, and this is where we're going to have the Mine River Village, hidden gifts and holiday delights in beautiful Bavaria. You have a classic uh, choice, which is a taking a guided um, tour to a picturesque village along the Mine River, mm -hmm. or you can do a discovery, make doing a cookie baking demonstration uh, on board while sailing as well. So you get both of those on that day. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, you know, here's your Christmas cookie baking uh, demo on board. And of course, we get to enjoy those when we're done that. Yes. Um, and then in Würzburg, this is the ornaments of Old St. Nicholas and Nutcracker Suite. So okay. this is where we'll have a classic choice of really going on to the sightseeing of the old main bridge, towering fortress, uh, Baroque bishops, residents. Uh, and then you get to spend free time enjoying the festive warm glow of Würzburg uh, mm -hmm. Christmas markets as well. Beautiful. Uh, and then here we have an excursion to the beautiful Bavarian town of Rothenburg. Mm -hmm. um, and then on day four um, in Bangberg, uh, this is really cherished Christmas customs and cradle scenes. Um, we have our discovery, which again is enjoying an onboard tradition traditions lecture while sailing. I mean, sailing down the mine is absolutely gorgeous. Um, mm -hmm. And then you have your classic, which is your sightseeing to a tour of Bangberg, really visiting the medieval homes of Germany's Roman mm -hmm. Empire dynasties, strolling through the Bangberg's nativity scenes from miniature to life size. And then, of course, taking free time to enjoy the quaint Christmas time markets. We're not getting away from those Christmas time markets because we said every city has a different Christmas time market. Um, mm -hmm atmosphere so really enjoying the warm traditional german dumplings sausage and a glass of hearty heart bavarian ale so when i'm speaking about these christmas time markets you'll notice i'm taking a little bit of like blueberry mulled wine this one has german dumplings you know and a hearty bavarian um ale so as we were saying every um city really does have its own um treat for you shall we say yeah incredible so, you know, and we spoke about, uh, we said from, you know, uh, miniature to life size and uh, nativity scenes as well. And uh, Nuremberg, um, this is really living heritage and history lessons again in Nuremberg. I'm sorry, I forgot the uh, G on the oh, end. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but again, you know, it's again, the same thing really going off and, you know, having the Nuremberg medieval architecture, mm -hmm. or you can visit the rally grands as well. Uh, day six in Nuremberg. This is where we disembark from Prague. Um, and this is this is really where we say goodbye. But you can also add an extension here in right. Prague um, and, you know, really stroll through the exquisite streets, um, have free time in one of Prague's cafes for dinner and uh, have a Czech beer as well. Beautiful. Um, and then, of course, day seven, um, we have our Gothic cathedrals. Um, now, this is where I said this is a two night extra in um, where we mm -hmm. said we can add the extension. So this is two nights in Prague. So we're off the ship now and we'll be staying at it is a Globus product. So superior first class product, centrally located hotels mm -hmm. um, and, you know, really getting um, a guided city tour, visiting the Hard Candy uh, Castle grounds, uh, St. Uh, Vitus Cathedral, the Old Town's astronomical clock, which is known for and then spend the afternoon on your own visiting the christmas time markets um in prague stroll through the colored wooden stalls of ornaments handmade toys and um uh handicrafts as well mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, we spoke about the hard candy. And then this is where uh, your day ends. Mm -hmm. And then I just wanted to share that we do have a few new sailings as well. Um, <laughs> you know, you do have, um, well, I think it's uh, a month and 10 days. Um, we have our Christmas time market. This is a brand new one as well from Vienna to mm -hmm. Budapest. Uh, and we spoke about you can do the reverse as well from Budapest to Vienna. Right. So that's still some space. That's a brand new itinerary on there as well. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, that's where I really wanted to share the Christmas time markets. Um, there's hopefully everybody's got a little bit taste of uh, the, the Christmas spirit in them right now. Um, and as I said, um, you know, Kathleen, if anyone on here um, would like to book a Christmas time market um, from today until November the 1st, I would like to offer, you know, again, a treat for you, a gift for you, um, $200 off per couple uh, if they book by November the 1st. 
wonderful. Well, thank you. That is very sweet of you to do that. And you know what? Those Christmas markets look so incredible. And what an experience to have the differences that each one and you can just, uh, you know, it's not like, okay, it's cookie cutter. We're just going to see the same thing. Not a chance. They're all so different. And that's great. And I love, thank you for highlighting that. That was incredible, um, you know, in terms of the different wines and foods. And and I like too with the, the stalls where you can buy items that they all have to be locally handmade right Absolutely. so they're not going to be you know mass manufactured you can get them anywhere um they're only available at those markets and when you go to the next one the what you saw at the first one won't be there so basically if you see it you like it you buy it because it's going to be gone <laughs> and, uh, exactly my and not, advice for that and not one item is the same as another right mm -hmm. which makes it extra special as well Yes, yes, incredible. So again, thank you so much for putting that together. I hope everybody uh, can book the Christmas markets because it's such an experience. You need to do it at least once in your lifetime. So do reach out to me, info at plenty of sunshine travel .com. But we're going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see everybody next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this week's cruise chat with Hillary from Avalon. It was so beautiful to see those Christmas markets. I have been wanting to go for so many years and it was just incredible to see them. And I love that each Christmas market has its own feel, its own products, and it's just incredible. And uh, if you guys are interested in going, info at plentyofsunshinetravel.com and I would love to get you on the Christmas market cruises or any of Avalon cruises. I think Avalon is one of the best choices out there for the rivers of the year of Europe and beyond um, just because of the way that the rooms are designed and the uh, excursions that they include. You're just not going to get that from anyone else and I just absolutely adore Avalon for that reasoning. So if you enjoyed this week's cruise chat, please like and subscribe to our channel. It just means the world to me if you would just subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you'd like, comment below with the favorite itinerary that you have found on uh, Avalon, which river cruise is best for you, which Christmas market you're dying to see. I really want to hear that. So we'll see you guys next week when I meet with another cruise line. Every single week I put out a new cruise chat and I can't wait to see you guys at each cruise chat because it's really cool to meet with all the different cruises and to meet with the actual cruise line where you're getting factual information. And I think that that's super important to get the right information um, as opposed to just kind of guessing or giving my opinion. You're getting it straight from the cruise lines and that's incredible. So thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next week or on board. Bye for now.